we want to solve the given equation for A. We have three times the quantity A plus B divided by C equals B. Notice how the variable A is inside the parentheses here. Also notice how the equation contains a fraction, and we always have the option of clearing the fractions from an equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. So let's go ahead and clear this fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides by C. So we'll multiply the left side by C and the right side by C. Let's write C as a fraction here with a denominator of one. Notice how before multiplying, we have a common factor of C between the numerator and denominator that we'll simplify out. C over C simplifies to one, and therefore this product is just one times three times the quantity A plus B, or three times the quantity A plus B. On the right side, we have C times B, which we can also write as BC. Now from here, we have an option we can clear the parentheses by distributing three, or we could undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by three. When solving an equation, the next step would be to clear the parentheses, so let's go ahead and distribute three. But there is more than one way to solve this equation for A. Distributing, we have three A plus three B equals B C. The next step is to isolate the A term, to isolate three A we need to undo this addition by subtracting three B on both sides. Simplifying, subtracting three B undoes plus three B, or three B minus three B is zero. So we have three A equals, on the right side we have B C minus three B. And following for our last step, because three A means three times A, we need to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides of the equation by three. So we'll divide the left side by three and the right side by three. On the left side, dividing by three undoes multiplying by three, or three divided by three is one, one times A is A. So we have A equals the quantity BC minus three B, all divided by three. And now we do have the equation solved for A. But there is more than one way to express A, so I also want to show how the expression on the right can be written in a different form. If we have A equals the quantity BC minus three B, all divided by three, because we're dividing by a monomial, we can divide each term in the numerator by the denominator and write A as A equals BC divided by three minus three B divided by three. Notice in this form, we can simplify the second fraction because there's a common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. Three over three simplifies to one over one, or three divided by three is equal to one, and therefore we can also express A as A equals B C divided by three minus B. So we don't need to express A in both forms, but it is important to recognize that the expression, the quantity BC minus three B divided by three is equivalent to the expression BC divided by three minus B. I hope you found this helpful.